Okay, so you've all seen my motorized bicycle. I've made many videos on it. As you can see, it's missing a few parts. I never did make a video on the gas tank, but now that it's uh, too late, here's the gas tank is just an old fire extinguisher. But uh, this thing broke down on me. All it broke was the pull start, so I'm, I'm probably going to give this to somebody who could fix it and really needs it, really needs a moped. The whole setup, I'll just give it to them, but it's for parts, because I took the handlebars off, a bunch of parts off. This is fine, I took it off because I was going to make it lock in place when the pull start broke. But, yeah, so that's been my moped. Big, heavy, you know, not very good, uses gas. Well, this is my new one. I've been working for a while on it. This is a little electric kids thing. As you can see, it's much smaller. It actually weighs about the same. It's pretty heavy, but with my knees on it and everything, that's why I got the bigger handlebars. I can turn just fine. It's straight wired for now. Obviously, somebody traded me it because it's not really the any account. So the motor still works. It's all brakes and everything's fine. Tires hold air. All that's fine. Handlebars were bent and rusty, so I swapped them out. Plus, these ones look cooler. So it's all straight wired. I checked the amperage for this. As long as I give myself a push and go, uh, all the wiring and this is the right gauge. You can all handle it. 8, 10 amps max, you know, while going. And this is like a 15 amp little switch. So it's okay. It's not recommended. You don't want to run them like that all the time. But like, I couldn't get anywhere. I need to drive around and apply for jobs. And I have a bad leg. My hip hurts all the time. So this will work, and I've modified it to take drill batteries. So, and I've got a, quite, I've got like three drill batteries, so just keep them all fully charged and with me. See how far it goes. It's, it, I've tested it in the driveway here, but like, I don't know how far one fully charged battery will take me. So, we'll see. It goes pretty good. It's got the torque, which scares me because something with torque electric motors means high amperage means you know. I gotta keep checking during the testing phase, keep checking everything, make sure nothing's overheating. But uh, yeah, so I was, uh, it, it had all the plastics on it, but it, you know, no good, little kid's bike. So I stripped it all off and then all I saved was the front piece just to hide the wiring a little bit, floorboard and then the seats bolted down and it still opens. Yeah, I gotta clean this thing off, but yeah. So put a tail light on it or in a headlight or something, and it works good. So that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.